Hey, my name is Trevor. I am the uh, founder and co-owner of Rio Nutrition, home of Rio Max. Now for the last two decades, we have been uh, improving digestion. We've been stimulating and feeding the biology, the bugs in the rumen of a cow. What that has led to is clear data to show a 15 to 30% hay savings or forage savings, whether you're feeding hay in the winter or whether you're out grazing through the summer or whatever your program is, 15 to 30% savings. So we know that. What we've been asked many times over the last two decades is, how do we know we're not shorting the cows? How do we know we're not getting this hay savings at the expense of uh, body condition, performance, overall performance. So we set out on a mission to uncover how much are we actually extracting out of that forage versus how much is going out as waste. Any factory, any production line, anywhere in the world is absolutely paranoid about waste. Waste is a, is a profit um, robber to factories, ranchers, everybody in production. So we're on a mission to see, are we affecting that number? We know we're affecting how much forage they need to eat, but 15 to 30% less. Now we shine the spotlight on the manure. The other thing we dug into is not only what was left over, but also looking at the consistency of the manure. Manure is a big visual telling you what's going on between A and B, the mouth and the hind end, telling you about what's going on in everything you can't see in that rumen. That's why we're so curious as to unlocking the mystery of the manure. So I'm gonna uh, welcome Jamie Diener. He heads up our live lab. And Jamie and his team has done this manure study, a four week study where they measured the leftovers in the manure, in other words, the undigested portion of that diet, they measured it and weighed it and compared it Rio Max versus control. Let's take a look. Hey guys, Jamie Diener from Rio Max here. Recently we performed a manure study using seven first calf heifers. The goal of the project was to measure the difference in the leftover manure using the Rio Max tubs versus nothing. On March 29th, we split the heifers into two groups and started the Real Max group on the PG360 tub. It is important to note that the heifers were on grass hay for the duration of the trial. On April 26, four weeks after starting on the Real Max tub, we performed a manure study by collecting 10 pounds of fresh manure from each group. Then we liquefied the manure and ran it through a five gallon pail with an eighth inch screen attached to the bottom. The weight of the fibers left over from the Real Max group was 3.3 ounces, and the weight from the control group was 7.3 ounces, which was a 55% decrease in the leftover fibers. Also, as you can see from the pictures of the manure pats, the Real Max side has more of a thick pancake batter consistency with a slight divot in the middle, showing the cow is using up everything she eats, and the control side is more firm and stacked up, which is undigested fibers that didn't get used by the cow. Thanks, Jamie. I, I, I get excited about this, and I'm sure you guys do too, ranchers out there, looking at, um, we, we, we're moving the needle, but we wanna dig in and make sure that everything is lining up. So when we say forage savings, is it lining up with what's coming out the back end? And this, this uh, four week manure study clearly showed that with a 55% reduction in leftovers. A 55% reduction in undigested solids. So what does that mean? Well, it means that that 55% differential stayed in the cow. It got utilized. It's energy, it's protein, it's, it's naturally occurring nutrients in the forages, in the diet. What does it mean? It means that cow utilized that it went to body condition, it went to fetal production, it went to 
overall performance, um, went to milk for the calf, all of those things. This is exciting. And, and why it's so meaningful is it completely um, shows that dotted line lining up from hay savings to less waste. So what it means is yes, we're reducing the amount that cow needs to eat. And yes, we're squeezing more out of it. That cow is gleaning or capturing more nutrients out of every single bite, more protein, more energy, more nutrients. And the proof, well, is in the pudding. The proof is in the manure. The good, healthy manure that looks like thick pancake batter with a little divot in the middle. You guys, you cattlemen know this a lot better than I do, but read your manure. Now we've always believed in reading our manure, but this takes it to the next level. We're digging into our manure to see how much is left over. 55% less leftovers. It's awesome. So thank you, Jamie, for doing that work. And thank you to our ranchers for uh, listening to us. You know, we're on a quest. We make a lot of bold claims, but we back them up. We are absolutely invested in the agricultural industry, in the ranching industry. And, and when we say Rio Max is the tub that pays for itself, almost all of the time with forage savings alone, it pays for itself. We back that one up too. We did a survey that found out that 78.8% of customers that have used it said, yes, Rio Max pays for itself. The, there was the balance, some said it didn't, some said they didn't know. But my point is this, eight out of 10 ranchers say Rio Max pays for itself. And, and that's the quest we're on, is to continually slice and dice, challenge ourselves, challenge our claims in the best interest of you, the rancher. So stay tuned, the live lab is always up to something. Thank you.